I'm Lazy Man Prepper and today I'm talking about my cold steel leatherneck sheath. I've done reviews on the cold steel leatherneck in Tanto. I've done a review on the CLC bag, five pouch bag. I've done a review on the Altoids tin that's in here. I've done a review on the uh, five inch by half inch fire steel that's, or uh, ferro rod that's in here. And I've done a review on the flashlight that's in here. Those links will all be below. I'm gonna put this all in a playlist. Uh, if you want to check those out, but I'm going to go over with you with the uh, the overall concept here. I have a bug out bag or a camping bag. I have a messenger bag. This is on me when I'm in the woods. This is a oh crap everything else got lost or taken, and this is all I have to get home slash survive it's not a long-term situation this is a get me back to civilization setup to start with uh, I have the sheath I have the cold steel love this blade this is the the one blade I would carry right here if anybody asked this is it I attached the CLC uh, five pocket bag to the sheath using the holes that are in the sheath and 550 cord. I went uh, tied a knot here, went down through the belt loop, came out around the back of the sheath, back up the belt loop and tied another knot. That's all that's holding this bag on. On the bottom I have a bundle of 750 cord. I use 750 cord because there's more strands and it's just if you're going to carry something carry the best. This is uh, 20 feet of cordage right there and that is secured using uh, 550 cord again, tied a knot, went around the cord through the sheath and back around the cord and tied another knot. It has to be cut off to get that off of there. Let me uh, go inside the pouch here. I have my ferro rod in one of the uh, pen holders. I have my through night TI5 flashlight. In the back pouch I have a uh, bandana that's been rolled up and taped. I'm not going to use this bandana around camp. That's why it's taped up. I'm not going to use this cord around camp because it's taped up or it's uh, tied on. Inside the back pouch, the uh, where the bandana was, I have my Eltoid survival tin. I got it. It has exactly the stuff in here that was uh, that I listed in the video, and uh, like I say, there'll be a link below, and I have it taped up with black electrical tape. In the front pocket, I have the items attached on a drawstring. They're a bugger to get out of here and back in, so I tie a, or taped a string to it, and I can pull them out that way. It goes in easy. It comes out hard. There it goes. So right here I have a one liter Mylar bag wrapped around a space blanket that's in a plastic bag. This is my water source or water container and my shelter. Like I say, this isn't a long term, this is a get back to civilization. So this goes on the outside, or the, the front pouch, the front pocket. Like I say, it goes in easy. 
The Altoids 10 goes in the back. The bandana goes on top of that. The flashlight goes in and the clip slides down. Come on now, there you go. And the fire rod, I do use this one. This is my primary fuel fire source right here. So it goes in the uh, another pin, hole, pin pocket here and it's easily pulled out, easily accessible. That is held closed with a Velcro lid. There is a loop on the outside right here that is rather small. I, it, it'll hold a three quarter inch uh, flashlight uh, with a barrel of three quarter inches. That's what I'm looking for. It's a good quality uh, flashlight that's uh, three quarter inches in diameter that will fit into this uh, outside pouch. And then of course the I never put that in right. The knife locks in and is secure. There you have it. It's got some weight to it. I'm going to guess two pounds, which a lot of people would think is heavy. But like I said, this is everything I need, and I'll do a thing this summer, uh, you know, pulling all this stuff out and using it in an overnight survival, uh, get back home kind of thing. But that's the concept. If you like this video, click the like button, post a comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, do I need to carry less? Do I need to carry more? I know I got pockets, but I'm not always wearing the same pants or shorts or whatever I happen to have on, this will be on my belt. And uh, let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, head back to my uh, channel and check out the videos that I got and what I'm all about, and then hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. This is Lazy Man Prepper, out. surviving different situations. There's Cody's and there's mine. Lazy Man Prepper, out. I could play with this all day. Man, that's sharp.